What makes healthy food? When we think of healthy food, we might picture fruits and vegetables, or a home-cooked meal. But are all vegetables created equally? Why do some tomatoes burst with flavor, and others taste dull and flat? Sometimes, it seems like the food we buy at the grocery store, which looks amazing, tastes bland by the time we get home. The answer to this question of flavor is directly related to the nutrition of our food. Truly, the better a vegetable tastes, the better it is for your body. See, plants need healthy soil to produce healthy food. Much like a person, they can grow and get big on poor nutrition, but the plant won't actually be as healthy. Plants, like people, need a balance of nutrients, which they can only get from the soil. The superior flavor of your garden vegetables is proof. Biological farming is a philosophy of food production. It recognizes that healthy soil is essential to produce healthy food. Plants need a varied diet of minerals, which they must get from the soil. Adding the three big nutrients, phosphorus, nitrogen, and potassium, is like only eating carbohydrates, fat, and protein. While these are vital, we also need a balance of trace minerals to truly be healthy. So how do we make healthy soil to get this healthy food? The key is soil life. It's the little microbes and fungi in the soil which make minerals available for the plants. Without healthy soil, you will not have healthy plants. So how can we get those healthy nutrients into our foods? One proven method is applying the principles of biological farming to our vegetable production. Biological farming is a method which takes into account the ever-important origin of our food, the soil. For anything healthy to grow, we must start with healthy soil. Just like our bodies, our soil needs a number of nutrients to be healthy. By ignoring the essential life of the soil and the necessary nutrients within, we often take a reductionist perspective and only maintain the elements necessary for the plant to grow and perform, these being the big three, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. But the list of nutrients necessary for healthy plants, and indeed healthy humans, is much longer including, but not limited to, boron, calcium, manganese, magnesium, sulfur, molybdenum, carbon, and many others. Biological farming takes into account the balance of nutrients in the soil, both micro and macro. A biological farmer goes beyond just making sure that these elements are present in the soil. It's the balance that is crucial to create the ideal environment for biological life to thrive. And this is essential for making nutrients available to the plant. This is done by ensuring that the soil chemistry is in balance to create the proper physiology for airflow, water absorption, and living space for the diverse biota in the soil. This symbiosis of chemistry, physiology, and soil life is the basis of biological farming. And it all starts with the chemistry of the soil itself. By engineering the proper soil chemistry, we are building the house for soil biology. The soil biology is essential for creating healthy crops because it is the fungi, bacteria, insects, earthworms, and numerous other microorganisms which make nutrients available to the plant. They do this in a few ways. Firstly, they break up the nutrients in the soil by feeding off of them and passing them through their digestive systems, making them more available for plants' nutrient uptake system. Secondly, the soil biota is the means by which humus is created. Humus is broken down organic matter and a primary indicator of soil fertility. Humus is present in the soil as negatively charged organic particles and can thusly attach to positively charged nutrient cations. Humus will hold the nutrients in place so that they can be used by the plant and also prevents them from being leached deep into the ground. This process is called the cation exchange capacity. These nutrients can then be taken from the soil into the plant through the plant's roots. The most important aspect of good soil chemistry is balance. If there is too much of a certain mineral, it can bind and, in and inhibit other minerals. Excesses can create deficiencies. For instance, plants absolutely need boron, but too much can actually be worse than too little. Plants with deficiencies will still grow, but aren't likely to produce healthy food. A specific balance is required for optimum performance. Sometimes the minerals are present in the soil, but cannot be used by the plant. 
This is what makes soil life so important. How do we know what nutrients the soil needs? First, you should trust your observations. Soil physiology can be seen and felt. Hard, compacted soil makes air and water flow very difficult. This can occur when magnesium levels are too high and calcium levels are too low. There are numerous signs that a plant will display if a plant is lacking in any macro or micronutrients. These symptoms are, can be seen by the farmer and the farmer can diagnose the problem. Testing your soil can also be an effective tool. Samples from different areas of your farm should be tested to get an accurate measure of the overall condition of your farm. These tests will let you know which minerals are present and at what levels. They will also inform you of the pH levels and humus content of your soil. By knowing what elements the soil is lacking, you can add the proper nutrients and build the house for the healthy soil biology. The living organisms in the soil keep the process going and make nutrients available to your plants and eventually to your body as you eat the healthy food. Biological farming is realizing that the health of our crops comes down to the health of the zillions of bacteria and fungi in the soil. If you feed the life in the soil, you will create healthier crops. These crops are naturally more disease and pest resistant and they produce noticeably better tasting food. The magic is in the soil chemistry.